Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, this time it is a speed paint of the chariot card. The chariot card in, in my deck is a person sitting confidently in their cart, moving um, their wares, and it has two horses pulling the cart forward and he's not straining the reins or anything. They're going at their leisurely pace. They have no hurry and they are they know just where to go. The divinatory meaning of the chariot derive from its powerful will. In a reading, the card signifies that the person is successfully controlling some situation through the force of his or her personality. Or their personality. The card implies that a situation contains some contradictions and that these have not been brought together but simply held under control. This is not to stress too highly the negative undertones of the card. When it is the right way up, the chariot basically means success, the personality in charge of the world around it. If it appears as the outcome in a reading dealing with problems, then it indicates victory. It's a very positive card if it's upright. There's also another way to reading the cards, which I don't personally do, but some people also read them in reverse, which is when the card appears upside, upside down. Um, and that can signify many different things. It can be the opposite meaning of the card or it can be that the the meaning of that card is in shadow so it's hidden from the querent. So there's a lot of different ways of viewing the meanings of the cards. This one was tricky because it, it was the first time that I've ever painted horses. I used to draw horses all the time when I was little. I was obsessed with horses and it's been a while since I've drawn them but this is the first time ever that I've painted horses so I hope I did a good job. There is a bit of, um, I, I, I don't like to say this, but there is a bit of unfinished um, work in the, in the legs. If you notice the, the horses are in movement, okay? so that you, you won't be seeing the whole of the legs. <laughs> That's a very poor excuse. But the the way that the card will be cropped, the legs won't really be seen. So I didn't see the need to um, really finish that, that, um, that section. You can see in the... Uh, in, in the background, there's a landscape. It's my first time doing landscape as well. Um, so it I'm not really satisfied with how this card as a whole came out. I wish I could have done better, but no, you know, I, 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 am, I am a bit satisfied with how it came out, truly, because it's, it's my freaking first time painting horses and a landscape. It's, for being the first time, it's a pretty good try. <laughs> I'm trying to give myself some grace uh, with, with this uh, project and not be so perfectionist, which is very difficult for me because I am a perfectionist at heart. Um, so, the, the fact that it's not perfect, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I need to make 78 paintings for this project. This one is going to be fine. <laughs> for the purpose of, of the meaning of the card, it, it works. So I am really trying to be considerate of, of that and the amount of time that it takes me to to complete a card, um, a painting of a card. So, yeah. 
And now we're going into detail. So another inspiration for this card is a song by Javier Solis. It's called Lamento Borincano. It is um, translated, it is basically the Puerto Rican's lament. It is about this hibaro, this this man from the from the mountains that goes to the to the town to sell his wares and how hopeful he is and um, I would sing it for you if if I wasn't so self-conscious about <laughs> singing on YouTube um, but it is a beautiful song and it, it's a, a sad song as well um, but yeah it, it's it's one of the one of the things that that helped me design the image for this card. I highly recommend you go look for it on YouTube. I bet it's on YouTube. It's, it's a beautiful song, truly. And we've come to the end of it thank you so much for being here as always if you're new thank you thank you for coming in uh, if you're if you've been here for a while thank you so much <laughs> um, be sure you like and subscribe for more videos like these um, I swear I'm getting better with the filming and the voiceover thing uh, I just need to figure out scripts and such um, but yeah thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next one bye